What's up, gamers? I'm John, and this is my Level Up News, where I bring you news every weekday. It's the top news I gather from around the web so you don't have to. Today's Wednesday, February 14th, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. Blizzard is giving people another reason to go against them when it comes to microtransactions. They have announced that you can change the color of your portals in-game for the same price as you can buy one of the biggest games this year on Steam, Power World. To so change the color of your portals, not even your character, not some super exclusive design, just your portal, you can do it for $30. Seriously, Blizzard, what in the holy hell are you smoking? Asking players to cough up $30 so they can change the color of their portal. The Sims has always been a pillar of gaming in so many ways, from living out a life you can't live in real life to helping players come together and find new friends all across the world. When it comes to customizations in Sims 4, it's a great way to make a sim that represents you. And with the latest update, they have included something new that I'm sure will bring smiles to a lot of players' faces. They have added Vitiligo customizations. For those that don't know, Vitiligo is a type of skin disease where patches of skins are lighter than others. It's just another win in the long list of wins that this game already has. It's a blast from the past because Tomb Raider Trilogy Remastered was released this week and with it comes warnings from the developers. The warnings are to make sure that players know that the game was developed 30 years ago and writing might be offensive to people now. Here is the statement. The games in this collection contain offensive depictions of people and cultures rooted in racial and ethnic prejudices. These stereotypes are deeply harmful and excusable and do not align with our values at Crystal Dynamics. But rather than removing this content, we have chosen to present it here in its original form, unaltered, in the hopes that we may acknowledge its harmful impact and learn from it. I think it's cool they made sure to leave it as pure as possible, making sure that gamers know that those are not the values that they have today. Kotaku has a great article up on their website about Starfield and the amount of people playing the game shrinking. 2023 was supposed to be the year for Starfield to take over. Unfortunately, the game was received with mixed reviews. Many loved it, many hated it. And now the concurrent players is down 98% since its release back in September. For those still playing the game, it's apparent that they are the diehards or the newcomers, but like the article says, the player count is shrinking and that's fine. We'll just have to wait and see if the update can save this game or will it be an entire disaster. With last year's Dungeons and Dragons light game, Baldur's Gate 3, you would think Hasbro would come after Larian to at least get a small amount of money for the game since it's related to D&D. The funny thing is that Hasbro has made $90 million by letting them make the game. This has either pulled old players back to D&D games or even better, brought up a whole new generation of D&D lovers. Either way you see it, Hasbro and Larian are both winners for making such awesome games. Are you new to D&D because of Baldur's Gate 3 or are you a returning fan? Comment down below. For all the Metrovania lovers out there, there is a new and most likely it's nothing like you ever played before a game called Ultros. It's one of the most trippiest looking games and it's released this week. The special thing about this game not only is the psychedelic trip, but also the mix of Metrovania games and roguelike games. With its fast paced action, I'm sure this will be one of the big surprises this year, already scoring an 82 on Metacritic. When June comes around, we will be able to see what exactly Bungie will do to bring an epic end to Destiny 2's story. The final shape is set to release in June, and with all the previous expansions available, many might want to catch up, and there is a special going on right now where you can snag up all the previous expansions for $40. That's hours of story and gameplay to catch up, and that's almost 80% off. If you ever wanted to get into Destiny, this might be the time to do it and catch up. And finally, Destiny 2 has a new collaboration that started yesterday. Bungie has teamed up with EA to bring us a Destiny 2 and Mass Effect collab. There will be premium armor sets for each class of character. Alongside the sets, we will be getting a new sparrow, ship, and ghost shell. The sets of armor will cost around 2,000 silver for around $20. There's also a new dance and a new finisher, all inspired by Commander Shepard. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out. Mm -hmm.